Hello everyone, welcome to the my second class. It will be about strings. In this class, it will be three part. So first part will be about general strings. And the second one will be about string methods, like most useful methods. And the third one will be about formatting strings. Okay, so strings formatting or all right, let's start with the strings. So firstly, I would like to tell you like how we can create a string. A string means we using double quotation or the quotation like like that or like that. All right. This is two explanation for about strings. So we can use it in Python like quotation and the double quotation all right in other languages it is little different but i will teach you later all about it okay so i want to work into cmd all right let's come here after that we will continue with vs code so now let's say um how we can create a string so let's say my name is Mohammed in this case I will say Mohammed and I click enter or press enter it will give me output but can you see that we have quotes next to my name all right why it works like that normally in Python when you use print it will not show you that one okay but let's talk about it later all right let's use the double quotation now let's say my name is Muhammad it is the same one and it's set like it displayed out again with the quotation did you see that it didn't show us like double quotation it shows us like quotation okay so maybe you will ask like why it shows us this quotation I don't want to see this quotation it is just we are working in the CMD prompt this is not some editor which is like a yes code for that it just shows us like that because it is like operating system you know we are working on operating system all right let's continue so I want to show you a thing like which is backslash escape this is so important in Python but if you are working on the this Windows PowerShell or Linux or I don't know like in other places it will be helpful for you what it means let's say I want to say doesn't like that and you run it it will work good okay so what if we do something different for example like that let's say I want to use a one like doesn't like that all right like in this case we have two quotation but in English we're using doesn't with the, this one right like with this quotation to separate them but in this case for the closing part we will use another quotation and it there, there will be three quotation and it is not mindly when you run it it will say and terminate string literal detected at line one which means it says you like it is not true calling like it is not good explanation for that we using this guy let me show you right now doesn't we saying da not and after that we using a thing there this backslash and we putting this one and we using that again let's run it did you see that it works this backslash is just uh, helping us to escape from that kind of situations all right this is another one all right let's do one more example for example let's say mm, I want to write there something like that let's say this and like yes and then I want to separate it again like that and want to say set like that and just want to use that one do you think it will work now we have two double quotation into quotation this two quotation and what do you think in this case what will happen when I run it it will work 
and it works, right? Everything nice. But in this case, we can use something like that. Let me show you. So we can say this one, and after that, we can use this backslash again and put again their quotes, double quotes, and say yes, and then use their, I mean, this one and say they said like that and put again code like double quotes when you run it it will say in here we have some problems <laughs> so, so how we can prevent it so we have some problem there so if we use there a thing which is before yes i mean backslash if you run it it will work did you see that nice this is just helping us to escape from that kind of situation we, in this case we just prevent this double like double codes to uh, create some issues like we just prevent it in some way with the backslash all right in here too so you can use this backslash when you don't want to see there's some issues or some bug okay you just uh, you can fix it like that the another one I can show you with the isn't it like in isn't it so if you use this isn't it like that sorry let's say isn't in this case you need to use backslash before that right because you want to say isn't it and you just want to um, you just want to ignore this quotes right with the backslash you just want to prevent it when you use this backslash it will just ignore it and it will show you like the correct isn't okay so then let's say mm, they said all right let's use like that put comma and put another one which is we will separate it like that and say they said and use it like that it works did you see that but it works like that so in this case right so do you think something wrong in here for example should we get it here or the other side when you say like that it will not work right and like if you tag it here if you run it you'll see that okay separate model so this is another one uh, which is we can use this backslash to enclose in quotes uh, with the special characters for example so it is always helping us but we have another way to do that it is print okay in print uh, we can display out without double quotes and quotes okay let's say I want to show you something like that for example in here when you say like isn't it they said like that it will give us this output right so let's do it with the print so I will say print and this um, I will write same things into print okay I will say um, I don't know maybe so I can say isn't it again isn't like that isn't but let's use backslash in here okay like that and just put it there and say they said and close it and close with the parentheses. look at that it works amazingly and there is we now have some codes right before and after look it's, look, it's only isn't it they said right that's all guys okay you need to know about so it just shows us this guys and uh, this one not this codes and then not this one print is just preventing this thing okay if we use print we can display out things like we want okay all right now the another thing i would like to show you we can create a variable for example like that and we can say um you know we can say first line let's say first line and this one is it means like with the backslash n it means like new like new line okay when we put it it means like new line okay just know about that and say 
second line line okay now the thing you need to know about when we use this new line it will bring like the second line below of the first line okay let's first run this code and now we have s now i want to work this on it i mean let's display out this s but what do you think if we do it first like that it didn't bring the below of the first line right because it is that uh, it is just like an operating system for example but if you say print it will work it's supported did you see that first line and second line below that right we just did it with this one right new line okay this is another way i show you like how you can work on it okay so let's continue with another step uh, which is like if you don't want characters like prefaced by backslash to like to interpret it as special characters you can use also row strings which is it's help us to preventing errors again or bugs by adding on r before the first code okay what it means for example let's say i want to write this kind of codes like print and after that i want to write there like some path okay let's say we have this one like sum and then we have like name like that okay so yeah that's all let's close that now i will sh i will uh, share one information with you in this case you need to see here this new line okay but it already concatenated with the name but this backslash will not prevent it when we run it it will be like like this like c and like two dot up top and the backslash sum because if you have some special character in this case not but in here yes so with a uh, new line so it will make it like c two dot up to up then sum with the backslash sum and the, it will be aim not name okay because it will bring it down let's see what it means did you see that c two dot up to up backslash sum and aim but where is the n n didn't work because this backslash n means this is special character like uh, the new line okay it's just bringing aim to below of the this guy okay so for prevent it we can use a method which is let's say clear first um maybe i can say exit first i don't know why it didn't work let's say clear okay let's come back to here okay in this case i just want to show you how we can prevent it let's say print and use r like rows string rows before that and say c and then sum uh, right like that but before that use slash backslash then say sum and then what we have we have n like slash n which is new line right and we just saying name right okay good good example what will happen right now what do you think so what will happen with this guys we use it here r this is rows which is preventing the special characters when we display out it will not give you some error because it says like if there is some special characters just ignore them run it and see did you see that it works amazingly so this r which is string row like just helping us to understand the concept okay you can use this one and you can just prevent this issue in here okay so just don't forget about it okay backslash characters by the way we can use also two slash like that to prevent these things again for example let's say delete this one this r let's use two special character like that and see what will happen it works again did you see that but so do you want to use that always like two slash slash like that 
So I think the, if you put their R, which is string rows to prevent this problem, I think this one will be nice, right? That's the way how we can do things. Okay, so for the string explanation, we have one more string, which is we're using that, like, like it spans multiple lines, okay? So it is like triple quotes. Triple quotes mean like we're using three times the string module. And after that, we writing there some quotes like that, and we just closing it again with the triple quotes. Okay. So what it makes, it's like end of lines are automatically included at the string, but it's possible to prevent like this by adding a slash at the end of the line. The following example, it is same like we can apply in here, and it will just help us how to work on it. Okay. So what I am saying to you. So, for example, let's start to write some codes there, okay? So, okay, just it gives us this result. Did you see that? I want to say something like print, and then I want to use like one, two, three, right? And then let's use this slash. I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> okay, let's come down. And let's write something else like usage. And we can write there like think thingy. I mean, I just got it from Python um, org. Sorry, not Python org. It is documentation thingy, right? Then you can say options like that. Okay. And come down and like right in here, like H, sorry, like that. Yes, cool. And yeah, we can write some codes there. For example, let me write there some codes. Come here and just say H and go right side and just write there some codes like display this usage message, right? Okay, let's come down and go back to there and make it like big H now, like that, and just write their host name next to it, host name, and go right side and just write their host name to connect to, host name to connect to, okay, like that. So let's come down and put there three more triple codes and close that when you run it guys it will give you amazing output what it means this one did you see that amazing one right it's just helping us to create our things like that for example what if we use there only this two double quotes like i mean double quotes not triple quotes let's run it what will happen let's let's see okay let's try it it gives us error what it means in wallet syntax perhaps you forget a comma no i didn't forget anything because it's just occurring from this problem which is we need to use triple quotes to, st uh, to stop these issues okay this is another way how we can work on it all right so we can also do something we can um like strings can be concatenated like uh glued together with the plus operator and repeated with the stars i mean like mine uh multiplication we can just multiply the strings let me give you some example before I speak too much for examples i want to write there like let's say Let's come here like that. It is some comments it will be in here. Let's say three times. Like I want to say, hey, he, like that. Then I want to say hello, like hello. It will be he, he, hello like that. Okay. So what can we do in this case? We can say three times he and follow it by, follow it by hello like that right hello <laughs> all right 
let's come down this is our comment by the way we can use hashtag to comment there or to describe things there i can say three by three times which is i already showed you in math class i mean in first class like about numbers and we can use this one in here he did you see that i explained it in here he then i want to say plus like below what will happen in this case it will multiply three times he which is it will be like he 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 then it will concatenate with this addition hello to it will be he 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 hello like that let's run it did you see that he he hello like that we can concatenate what we want okay you can just say i don't know like let's say 12 times hello and then you can put this one did you see that you just concatenated all of them in this way like that what if we say if we put here like space it will look amazing in this case it will be like that right we can do what we want with this operation so just no worry okay this is another way how we concatenate this string uh with the like numbers i mean like with the math operations we can just do whatever we want the another case um what can we do we can also concatenate strings like that let's say i want to say muham then i want to bring with another like <laughs> uh thing uh letters i'm just saying muham and i'm just separating with this codes and i'm open i like opening another uh, codes and just writing the reminder part and just clicking it's just concatenating did you see that we can use also in here plus the same method nothing different okay but when you use uh print you need to you need to use like plus in it okay like moham let's say moham like that you cannot do it like that i think if am i right i think it works too i'm not sure but normally we adding there like comma or plus something like that to just concatenate them okay this is another way to concatenate the strings all right so let's continue i want to show you something in advance what it means in advance so let's see it step by step together okay so for example um we can we can concatenate whatever we want in this case like a lot of things okay I want to continue with the um, VS code right now. Then we can continue in some way if we need this PowerShell, okay? Let's come back to VS code. And right, let's continue from here. I hope you already noted everything there, right? So by the way, one more thing I want to do. So maybe in here. So that's private make it private all right maybe in here so yeah yes guys now let's continue in here so for example this feature is particularly useful when you want to break long strings i mean we can use like that we can say text we can just write there some codes like what like let's say hello my name is Ahmed and living living let's then put a space between them let's say in Cyprus like that and life is really good okay this is our variable which is we created a variable and after that we put our all the information in 
two strings, right? The first one, this one is the second one is this one, right? And we didn't add any plus for concatenate, just we added like that. So now let's come down below of the text and just do it like with the print, for example. Let's say text. So let's run this. Okay. What will happen? Look at that. Hello, my name is Muhammad and living, living, and we didn't add any space for that. It's just concatenated uh, these things because we need to add a space from this side or the from this side. Okay. All right, let's put from this side. When you run it, it will just give us the result. Hello, my name is Mohammed and living in, and I am living in, by the way, say, and I am living in Cyprus and, is, and life is really good, something like that, okay? By the way, our, my terminal is working <laughs> with the C++ for that, it looks like that, okay? Just no worry about that. It is Python. <laughs> so, all right. Normally it has to work in here too. So let's continue. All right. So for concatenation, we can use that one and we can use this one. Or we can even say like, uh, hello, my name is uh, Mohammed and I'm living. I'm living. Then we can put there plus or not plus, for example, another uh, double quotes and we can just put a space and it will work again in same way for example run it and see did you see that it's already added there a space right in here can you see that yes exactly there so we can use it like that too for example let's do something more like that what do you think Did you see that? We have a lot of spaces in here. All of them doing same stuff. For example, if I say like what, for example, after that, let's say this and this and this. So they are just same guys. Okay. They doing same operation like that. Yeah, they did same job. All right. So I hope you understand. If you add there something else, just you can see the result again like that. Same. D, F, and blah, 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 right? S, D, F, and livings, it's in here, S. So because we need to add the space in here, right? Then it will work good. Let's continue. Uh, so put several strings within parentheses to have item joined together. We can do that too. So this only works with two literals, like like not with variables or expressions, okay? So what it means when we use, so for example, let's comment it and come here. For example, let's say prefix, let's say equals. I want to say like move. Moha, let's say Moha, because I want to concatenate with the Mehmet, like let's say Moham and Mat. I will add their Mat. So let's say prefix plus like that, and just add there the reminder part, or just we don't need to use. Let's say this one. Let's say like that. By the way, it will just say, you are you crazy? Let's say plus in this case and run this one and see what will happen. For example, let's say print because we are not using CMD right now. We need to use print in here, print in here. Let's run it and see the result. For example, what will happen? It says Muhammad because we use it print in this case. Okay. So in another way, it will be different. So let me just check it again one minute. I mean, like, let's go to PowerShell. So let's say prefix in here and just say same thing in here, Moham, like that. And come down and just say prefix 
you just use med like that yeah it gives like invalid syntax in print it will work i think right let's say prefix then use med like that all right so in 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 powershell or in cmd it didn't work yeah it is different way or just put plus between them and see what will happen if it works it works if you didn't add plus it will not work yeah let's do same thing in here for example it is prefix dot like that it works again but when you didn't use there some plus it will not work okay it like between variable and this like um like a text or string it will not work like that just you need to use their plus or whatever else okay or print with the print plus okay all right let's continue so uh, by the way i can say if you want to calculate variables or a variable and a literal use plus in this case you can use plus okay so the another thing strings can be indexed like subscript i mean with the first character having index zero there is a no separate character type a character is simply a string of size one i mean you know for example if i give you some example with the a like like a python a variable in a variable python the first index of the python will be p right okay let me just prove you that let's go back to the our program let's comment it come down for example let's say verb verb and let's say it is let's use normal quotes it works too okay you can use double quotation or the quotation in the same way okay all right let's say Muhammad like that and just I want to access the first index of the or first value of the verb muhammad i mean m right this one this is first index of the word i can say word and i can put here zero what means zero guys zero means like character in position zero which means m in computer programming the the numbers starting from zero it's about binary numbers okay in decimal system we starting from one two three four five six seven and blah 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 in computer we starting zero one two three four five six seven eight and blah 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 right this is two things you need to remember okay those so zero means is one for the computer i mean this one all right m so for example what if we run it what will happen so let's run it it will give error maybe it didn't say anything because we need to use print guys print means like to display something out okay it gives us m did you see m in here you can see that so the first value or the first position is for the m the second if i want to access the h it will be what two index right it will be like zero one two right h will be position two like zero one or first and second index all right let's take all of them all of them back and just see what will happen it gives us h did you see that it works like that guys so we can do same thing for the another guys too and we can just access them so we have also like indices may also be negative numbers to start counting from the right side to left side for example let me give you an example say word i want to access again the h how i can access that from this side this is left to right it is zero one two right h is two from right side to left side it the d in this case will be minus one index e will be minus two index m will be minus three index the another m will be minus 
4 index and the age a will be minus 5 and the age will be minus 6. So let's say minus 6. Run it and see. H, H. For both of them, result is same. What if I say 3? In this case, it will be minus 5. To access same value, right? A. Both of them is A. From left to right, it is third index. This one, like 0, 1, 2, 3, right? From right to left, it is 0, like minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, and minus 5. I hope you understand how to access it, right? Okay, this is good. I hope you get it. So we can do the same thing. For example, let's... Maybe let's do that like that and just copy and paste down. We can work on it. For example... So not that same, like since minus zero is the same as zero. I mean, negative indices start from one in addition to indexing slicing is also supported. While indexing is um, like to obtain individual characters, slicing allows to you obtain substring, all right? So what if I want to specify, like I want to just slice the, the things like the characters between some indexes for example i want to reach the h and a together what i can say i can't use two value right so let's say i want to say print and i want to just get this h and a like this is zero one like zero first second second index and the third index right how i can do that for example let's say word like that and let's say, okay, this is second index. The another one is third index. How I can write it like that with the comma? It is not possible, isn't it? All right, what can we do in this case? So we can do one amazing thing. For example, I can say between, between something else. Between what? Let's say, bit like from, z, uh, from, second index to fourth index what it means the zero index is m the second in the first index is u third index or two second index is h which is we already started with a uh, sorry h and the a is the third index and m is the fourth index but until m we have a and h right between two and four we can use this to that up to up to just like to get the what value we want between this uh, into this word so it is just something else uh we want the things between four and two okay i mean um h and a right Okay, we can use this one to just indecise it, okay? Let's run it and see what will happen. H, A. Did you see that? From second index to fourth index, like not fourth, third index, for example, because we have second and third index. Like we just sang before four tag the index which is in this case it will be two and three like after second index and before fourth index let's continue i hope you get it so we can make it like between zero to two and between something else slice indices like have useful defaults and like omitted first index defaults to zero and omitted second index uh, defaults to the size at the string being sliced. This is another case. We can do same thing like this way. For example, I can say print and then we can say word. I want to access the each item of the word. I can say, let's say, I want to get the before the second index, which is this one will be accepted and 
it will tag only M and U, right? Because we sang before second index, before H. If you say before like three, it will be before A. It will tag M, U, H. Let's try it. Run and see what will happen. Did you see that? Move like M, U, H. It works. So let's do same things with the reverse side from right to left with the minus. For example, if I say print and word, and if I do here, like, like what, for example, let's say minus two to the later things. So what it means, where is the minus two? Minus one and minus two until here. So from here to here, like it will take minus one and minus two because it's we saying from minus two, let's get all the things to right side, not left side because we just using this guy. So let's run it and see what will happen. It takes only E and D, right? What if we say like five in this case, it will get from H to right side like yeah m mat like that i hope you get it okay so note how to start is always included and the end always excluded this max sure that like like word and i index plus and we can do something else okay i hope it is understandable for you uh then we can continue with another steps so we can just concatenate them too i mean i will show you one more thing we can say print word and we can just say something else like that let's say like before five like fifth index take all of them plus word let's do some crazy things after five what will happen we're just trying to concatenate it right you sure about that right Okay, if yes, let's continue. Run it and see what will happen. It is same. Did you see that? It gives us again the word. If we do same things from any number, it will be same. So for example, let's come here and do it like that. And like that. Try it and see what will happen. Still same. Did you see that? It doesn't matter before two or after two. It is same things like we just trying to concatenate, isn't it? So it is some methodology like we can work on things. Like one way to remember how slices work is to think of the indices, the painting between characters with the left edge of the first characters number at zero then the right edge of the last character of a string of n characters has index n for example okay so just the thing here about uh the things i, I want to show you lastly just make it sure let's say m u h a a m m and a and d like that okay Let's look their indexes. I hope you understand. It is first index, like zero index, like first one is the second one, like one first index, third one, fourth one, like fifth one, sixth one, and seventh one, and eighth one. So did you understand what I did in here? Let's come back here. If it is this side, we need to know the other side, it will be minus seven right minus seven all right and i will do that little fast because there is no more spaces to explain that maybe yeah okay this you can think minus eight minus six minus five minus four minus third like three minus two and minus one anyway okay so just we can arrange it but anyway just i'm trying to explain you the logic okay logic is much important point let me do that okay to make it clear i mean it not look like clear 
So let's do it like that. Okay. Like that. And use all these things with the correct point. Like that. Okay, that's all. I mean, not all, still. Like that. Let's tag it here. Oh, it, oh my God! It is it is not good way to do things. Maybe good way is that I can bring it below again. It is there, right? Like that. And do it like that. The another one will be like that. The other one will be in here. Okay, I don't want to attack. I don't want to lose a lot of time with this. Just want to show you. And this one in here. Wait, what is wrong? Not this one here, sorry. <laughs> so, just something wrong in here. Let's tag it in here. And tag all these guys there. It will come until minus seven and the zero index will be again the another point okay just you can think like that so zero will be the other one i mean just from here by the way yeah this point will be like that d and from this side to go the other side all right by the way it's still looking wrong i mean yeah so you can think it like that, okay? Zero, one, two, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six, minus seven, and minus eight. You can think like that, all right? That's the another case, how we are indexing things there. So the another thing, if we say, um, for example, let's comment them. But if we say like word, is like 42 in this case it will give us some error what means error what will happen let's run it and see it says exception has occurred index error x St string index out of range all right this is good point we like catch it the word only has for example in here 10 characters, right? Maybe not more than 10 characters. Let's say 10, for example, what will happen? What if we run it? Let's see if you have 10 characters, for example. Okay, we fix it, stop it. <laughs> I think it is still in the same situation. Let's stop this. Um, let's run the back Python file. Is that still the same? Okay, let's stop it. So, what it's saying? All right, stop this. And come here. Breakpoint. All right. Let's run the bug Python file. What will happen? See nothing. But if we do with the run code, no, run Python file. No. Let's say nine for that. Run it. Out of range. Let's say eight. But we just forgetting in here, maybe something like, let's say four M. Yeah, now it works. M is in here, this one, right? Fourth. Okay, this is the way how we work with it, okay? What if we say like four two forty two 42, like that? What will happen in this case? 
it will just give us the reminder part and it will give not it will give it will not give us the, some errors it will just give us the reminder part of this okay in this way it will work but if you use it only with 42 it will give you error because it will be out of range out of this number index okay so one more thing uh we can't change i want to tell you also about that for example we can't change the let's close that too and come back to here so in lists we can change the the items in the list but in strings we can't do that like for example i want to make it you Muhammad like that you Muhammad not Muhammad we want to use their Y so for example let's say I want to change the first index which is zero index which is M with the Y what do you think if it works or not let's say print and do it like that it will give you an error okay so by the way let's do it again like that not print it is not good explanation like that we can just say print and we can display it at out like what we can say print word like that but it will give us this word for example we can just say zero index maybe it will be again same like yeah string object does not support item assignment but if we do it in the list for example let's say this is list i will teach you about list two not now but later of this class if you do that in same way it will give you y and it will change it but in strings uh, it doesn't support it okay don't forget that this is important for tuple for string you can't change the item into strings and tuples okay just you can change it in list and like you can't change also for numbers too guys okay you can't do that you need to create another variable so the same thing we can't do like like that too let's say word before two or after two which is after h a we have h a m m so i want to let's say i want to change this with the like like i don't want to make it like ammet i want to make it like like something different for example with the, this one like that okay if you say print and if you say word and if you put it again there it will be same string object does not support item assignment guys you can't change strings and numbers all right and apple things too okay this is big rule for you okay don't forget about that so let's yeah do it like that and close this one too yeah we can do it like that so the another thing we can concatenate them with another way for example with the operators what it means let's say still we have this word take it come down we can say word zero index you can say plus you can use it like that or not zero index maybe you can say before first like before one let's say i want to make it juhammed for example with the g so if you run it what will happen what do you think let's use print there for example come here run it and see what will happen it gives us mg why it is like that because we just did for this one to here right 
So what if I say directly zero in this case, what will happen? Let's say zero just gives us M and J. It is still same, right? Let's say we want to add after one like that. What will happen? It just add this G to end of the this guy. All right. So what it means if I say tag this J from there and the plus also and put it front of the word. Let's look what will happen. Ju ham mat. It is not Mohammed now. Did you see that? We can just concatenate it in this way, not in this way, okay? Not with the assignment because it doesn't support. It does not support, I mean. Okay. So we can do same thing with another ones too. Like the built-in function, we have also len, which is uh, like uh, measuring the length of the strings. How are we doing that? For example, we have here the word Muhammad. We want to check the length of the, this word. We can just say print. I mean, we can just say len. Len is, you can see in here what it means, for example, return the number of items in a container number of items in a container or number of letters number of something else in this case we want to check word it will give us here like one two three four five six seven eight something else eight did you see that we have eight let's add there a lot of things it will give us 35 let's add more and check it 69 did you see that we can just check whatever we want like that this is another one you learned about okay that's all for about this class the next class will be about uh, string methods like most useful string methods see you there thank you so much for joining thank you